Welcome to the Nicholas 11x12 technology. Today I'd like to show you a quick comparison between an IPS and a TN LED monitor. For the IPS display, I'm going to use the ASO FlexScan EV2455, which costs about 490 US dollars. For the TN display, I'll use the Samsung SyncMaster S24B300H, which costs about 170 US dollars. Yes, I know, in terms of pricing, this is a totally unfair comparison, but I've had the chance to analyze several more expensive TN monitors and compared to this one, the Samsung one, there's really not that much of a difference except for some nice ergonomic features similar ones to the ones of the ASU EV2455. Therefore, we are not going to compare any ergonomic features here today, but only the performance of the display itself. First of all, let's compare the video signal inputs. The ASO EV2455 offers one DVI, one display port, one HDMI, as well as one VGA input. The Samsung S24B300H, however, only has an analog VGA input, as well as a single HDMI input to offer. That's kind of poor here, but believe me, there are better TN ones out there in terms of inputs. So let's get straight to the image quality tests then. First test, backlight bleeding. As far as I can tell, a tie here, however, every specific monitor model is different here. Display uniformity is a bit worse on the TN, but still okay, almost a tie. Black levels, well, the TN is able to display all the squares, but there's a lot of noise going on, whereas the IPS display is able to produce a very clean image here. Contrast, a tie. Gradient test, clearly the TN loses here, since a lot of bands are visible here, which preferably shouldn't be there. White saturation, pretty much a tie. When it comes to sharpness, the IPS monitor wins here. That Samsung screen is a bit blurry. I'll give you another example with this image. At least for me, it's very visible here in person and a very good example on the color accuracy as well. There obviously are a lot of color tones missing on a TN panel, color tones important enough to make specific images look special. In the clock slash face calibration test, a tie. All right, which panel can display a wider white? Without a doubt, the IPS. The TN panel has a more cold white, bluish, I'd say. Color accuracy, of course, no doubts the IPS display wins. The viewing angles pretty much are incomparably better on the IPS display, but color accuracy and viewing angles is where IPS displays typically shine, so no wonders here. Now response time should be better on the TN panel, however on this Samsung model there's quite an amount of ghosting visible. So in this case here today, the IPS turns out as winner. However to be fair, I have to say more expensive TN monitors would have a much better response time than the IPS display here. And yeah, I guess this wraps this very short comparison video up. There's no need to compare the ergonomics, OSD menus or power consumption here. The main difference between an IPS and a TN panel is the color accuracy, viewing angles and response time. TN panels usually score when it comes to response time and often pricing. Most of the time they are much much cheaper than IPS monitors when comparing models with higher screen resolutions, video signal inputs and so on. However, every monitor, no matter if IPS or TN, is different than what we've seen in this video. It all depends on the manufacturer and model. This is just a basic video on what differences you could expect. Oh, and just in case you're interested in that expensive ASO EV2455 monitor, you can click here to watch my full review of it. Let me know which panel do you prefer or use yourself, IPS or TN. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and visit nicholas11x12techx.com to see videos there earlier than on YouTube. Also say no to ad blockers in order to support me and to make future videos possible. Thank you.